Hi and welcome to Priori Digital Studio Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to set up and use your Kanban board in the most efficient way. In this video, I am using Google Sheets, but the Excel version is exactly the same. First thing, we protect most of the cells where there are formulas to make sure that you don't erase any important formulas that could impact the spreadsheet. So if you see this message, it means that you're not supposed to touch this cell. But don't worry, I will show you step by step how to set up your spreadsheet. If by mistake you touch a cell with a formula and see this message, you simply click on the X and you will be fine. Moreover, we established a color code to show you which cells can be edited and which one cannot. So basically, you only can edit the cells that have a white background. On another important note, please do not move a cell from one place to another. If you do move a cell, it could generate an issue by messing up the automation of the spreadsheet. The best way to avoid these errors is to copy and paste your data. The first tab is the setup tab. In this tab, you will set up all your information needed for this spreadsheet. So as you can see here, we have a few tables that will help you set up the spreadsheet and especially all our drop-down menus. So the first table is to help you define a list of emoji that you can use to easily visualize your task status. You will be able to add more emojis by using a website like Emojipedia. Then you simply have to type in your data to populate the drop-down menus. So you can add more um, data in the status, Kanban category, and person in charge. Simply type in the information. So we could add someone uh, in for person in charge, let's say John Doe. So now let's have a look at the task tracker tab, which offers a user-friendly interface. You simply need to input your task and associate it that data, such as the status, the priority, the person in charge, the start date and due date. And then the system automatically calculates the days left. This tab is linked with the Kanban board and you will be able to define the Kanban category as well as the progress. There's also a designated area for notes if needed. Upon completing a task, you can mark it by checking the checkbox on the left side of the table, resulting in a strike through effect. At the top of the tab, you'll find task statistics presented through a bar chart that represent the task priority and, the, and as well as two pie charts, one sorting tasks by status and the other illustrating distribution per person in charge. You also have on the left hand side, the possibility to highlight a task to do a quick research, as well as the overall number of completed tasks and the number of tasks due today. So let's take an example and add a new task together. So let's type in the task name. Let's say IT infrastructure upgrade. And then let's write a description. Let's say upgrade the servers. Then use the drop down menu to select the status. And let's say this is in progress. And then again, use the drop down menu to select the priority. Let's say it's medium and then select the person in charge. Let's say this is John Doe. Then we can double click to see a little calendar. This is a unique feature only available in Google Sheets. If you are using Excel, you will have to type in the date manually. So let's say that this uh, task starts at the beginning of the month. And then the due date is at the end of the month. So as you can see, the number of days left are calculated since the end date is on June 30th. And today we are June 23rd. And then we can choose the Kanban category, which is different from the status. And let's put this one in backlog for now. And then let's put the progression uh, to zero. So in this tab, there is also a filter feature of your tasks. To access it, you could simply scroll to the right or click on the yellow button at the top left of the tab. There is a lot of filter possibilities in this tab since there are a lot of different columns. I will not go through all of the filter in details, 
but basically you can filter all the columns that you have and even sort your due date ascending or descending. So let's take an example together. Uh, so I already used the drop down menu to uh, into the completed task. And then let's choose the status in progress to try to find our example and then use the Kanban category and click on backlog. As you can see here, we filtered everything to find our example, which was the IT infrastructure upgrade. To delete the filter options, you simply select them, but one at a time and then click on delete. As you can see, all the tasks will reappear. So now let's take a look at the Kanban board tab. So if you are not familiar with what is a Kanban board, a Kanban board is an agile project management tool designed to help you visualize work, limit work in progress and maximize efficiency or flow. So this tab is really powerful and should really help you easily visualize all your tasks and help you better manage your overall uh, projects or tasks. In this tab, everything is automated based on the task tracker tab. The only thing that you have to manage is the filter option. So to see the options or the filter options, simply open the filter option by clicking on the small plus in the margin. So you will see this message once you click on the plus. Don't worry, in this case, simply click on OK. There, you will be able to filter your task to have a better visual. So let's use the filter to find our previous example. So the status was in progress. So as you can see here, we are left with only three tasks and the IT infrastructure upgrade, which was our example. So then on the right hand side of the filter, you have a small legend of the color of the tasks boxes. So as you can see, all the tasks are colored uh, based on their priority. So we have red for very high, um, orange for high, medium is yellow, you see the drill. To easily access the task tracker tab, you could also click on the green button at the top of the page. So now let's filter our data again to find our example. And let's say I want to change our uh, IT infrastructure upgrade from the backlog to uh, the status in progress. So remember, this is automated based on the task tracker. You should not move it manually. So let's go back to the task tracker, find our example, which was, which was the last one. And then in the Kanban category, change it from backlog to in progress. And then let's go back to our Kanban board. As you can see here, our example moved from backlog to in progress. We can also change the progression bar here. So same thing, everything is controlled directly from our task tracker. Let's put 50% and see how it changed directly in our Kanban. So a Kanban can be basically organized uh, as you wish. So in this example, I put status like backlog, to do, in progress, review and done. However, you could also put the name of like the person in charge so that you can see all the work for your team members or you could maybe maybe split the Kanban board into projects. This is very flexible and you manage your projects or tasks the way it fits your needs or your business. So that's it. I hope this tutorial helps you easily set up your spreadsheet. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Follow Priori Digital Studio on YouTube for sneak peeks on our new templates.